Take Two Interactive owns the rights to big video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Bioshock, Borderlands and NBA 2K and it's been one of the best stocks in the market. Over the last 10 years the stock has generated annualised returns of over 20%. Right now, the company has a market cap of $23 billion. It's got $900 million of cash and investments and $2.7 billion of long-term debt, which means the enterprise value is $24.6 billion. The company generated $5.5 billion in revenue over the last 12 months with a gross margin of 42%, but this wasn't enough to cover all of its operating expenses. As a result, Take-Two's net income over the last 12 months is negative $1.2 billion, and free cash flow is negative 288 million. A major reason for these losses is due to Take-Two's acquisition of Zynga in 2022. Take-Two paid $12.7 billion for the mobile games company and the cost of the acquisition will continue to hit financials for the next several years. Of course, the acquisition of Zynga also boosted revenue, with sales jumping by 53% in 2023. But this year's revenue growth has fallen back to only 3%, which hardly justifies the $25 billion valuation. However, Take Two is about to embark on a pivotal period. The next couple of years should see the release of over 40 games, including the highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6. GTA 5, which came out in 2013, has reportedly generated over $8 billion in revenue, and GTA 6 looks like it could be just as big. Let's assume that Take Two grows its top line revenue by 3% a year over the next five years. Then let's include a $4 billion boost from new releases, including GTA 6. In that scenario, Take Two would be generating 10.2 billion of revenue in five years time and a similar price to sales multiple as today would put the valuation at 51 billion dollars that works out to an investment return of 15.7 percent per year that's a good return however it relies on two assumptions first that gta 6 becomes at least as successful as gta 5 second that take two is able to pay down the debt from the zynga deal without impacting its valuation multiple it might not be easy for Take Two because there is a lot of competition in video games from the likes of Activision Blizzard, Electronic Arts, Embracer, Nintendo, Roblox and many others. Low barriers to entry means that numerous companies and social platforms are also getting into the space. That said, Take Two is doing the right thing by investing in quality titles. We've already seen one large acquisition with Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard, and Take Two could be a tempting target for an acquirer like Apple or Netflix. As a result, I give the stock a bullish rating, but these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I've got no position in the stock. For more videos like this, check my new website, 3minutebreakdowns.com, and as always, thank you for watching.